Welcome in everyone. I'm joined by our MA60 champion, George Botoroga. George, not quite a walk in the park this afternoon, but you had a comfortable lead coming in. Were you nervous? I wouldn't say I was nervous, but I knew I had to keep the, the foot to the floor. Um, you know, you start playing easy and careful, and that's when you make mistakes, so I didn't want to do that. These are all good players. And speak to that, if you could, the competition that you had this week, new people you met or maybe old friends that you rekindled friendships with. What was it like out there? Well, all of the above, and I think for me, having this stiff a competition like we had this week really makes um, winning something like this feel like you did something. So, What is next for you? Do you have aspirations of professional divisions? Do you continue <laughs> to hang out? What's, what's the game plan there? I'm taking a month off, <laughs> and I don't know about anything else. So no more tournaments planned for this year. Anything you want to say to fans, supporters, loved ones yeah. out there that have been watching? Yeah, I, uh, first I'd like to say, um, you know, shout out to my Arkansas boys, Mike and uh, David, for uh, supporting me, you know, when they weren't playing, and especially Mike for catting for me in semis, which was very helpful. Uh, and then uh, also to the Charlotte OGs, um, you know, I moved to Charlotte just a little over a year ago, and they have kicked my ass over and over until I got better, and I think that that really made a difference here. Sounds like some friendly pushing that got you this championships. Again, your champion here in Flagstaff, George Botoroga. Joining us now is our MA70 champion in Michael Schweitzer. Michael, I met you a few months ago. Throw it on the mountain. You had a bag of tricks. We were playing a little fun game. It looks like yes. you brought your bag of tricks to Flagstaff. How does it feel to be crowned world champion? Uh, it it feels wonderful, honestly. And what a great place. And what a departure from Florida. To wake up every morning and look at those mountains. Wow. I've just had a really wonderful time. Yeah, we've talked about the mountains that are in Florida. That's another story for another day, which is where we met. <laughs> exactly. Now, <laughs> you're here. You're someone that's used to dealing with heat, but this is a different kind of heat, right? Yeah, it was a different kind of heat. And this morning was a little hard. It was a little bit like you could feel the elevation today. Was there anything that you had to do, of course, playing in extreme elevation? Anything you did this week that would maybe be a, a pro tip or something that you felt led to your success? Well, the very first day I got in, locals told me about the cans of O2 oxygen. Yeah. And yes, I went and got one. So yes, I think it helps. It, and uh, I would recommend that. Um, and other than that, I thought it was just fun to play. Well, and obviously some solid p play. Those were other tips. What did you rely on the most this week? What do you felt? What do you feel like came through for you in terms of your game? Drives, approaches, putts. What was it? Well, I got a good start, and that that helped me a lot. And my drives were good. The day before, I actually lost my go-to disc mm. and had to pull out another, and it worked for me. It was a wraith, and uh, I was happy I had it. Michael, before I let you go as world champ, anything you want to say to the world out there? If you get a chance, come here. What a great place. And the more that you're here, the more it grows on you. It was really fun. The side trips to the canyon and Snowball and Sedona, it's wonderful. Well, in Flagstaff, your MA70 champion, Michael Schweitzer. Congrats. Thank you. Thank you a lot.